I became a chef as a uh, kind of a third career. I um, started out studying theater and didn't really work for me. It wasn't what my passion was really all about. And so I did what every other out of work actor does. I started waiting tables in Manhattan. And uh, one night I got into it with the chef and he said, can you do this better than me? And I thought about it and I said, yeah, you know what? I think I probably could do this better than you. So I, I decided to go to culinary school uh, and then I've just been, you know, very lucky uh, and had a great career. My favorite part about cooking is the camaraderie. There is a bond in the kitchen and in every restaurant um, that I think is unique um, to what we do. You know, people equate it to being, you know, uh, pirates on a ship, but I, I think you're working in such close personal space um, that you have to really know the people you're working with um, so that. You can, there's almost a communication without speaking, and that's the way that it has to be to, to put out 300 covers every night. The hardest part about being a chef for me is the ability of, you, you're constantly second guessing yourself. You are your own worst critic. Uh, every time you put something onto a plate, there's a sense of doubt as to whether or not that's the best that you could do. Uh, should I go back? Should I revamp it? Is it? Can I do this better? And there's always room for improvement and that's I think what um, what gets a lot of a lot of chefs is that we are our own worst critics. Nothing's ever perfect for us and that's really tough to deal with. My favorite ingredient um, is time. I love time. Um, I think uh, uh, it just, it marries itself very well with a lot of different flavors. We use it to baste fish, uh, I use it to finish sauces, um, we use it in the crab cakes. It's just for me, um, and I don't know where I really got this from, but there's an attachment for me with time that just kind of transports me to, you know, cooking with my family. And, and it's weird because I can't remember cooking with time with my family, but, uh, but that's how it makes me feel, and I love that feeling, so that's why I use it. It would have been my grandmother and my grandfather. Cooking with them, it was a family event. It was a gathering, and everybody had a job. You know, the, the first thing that I remember cooking is making an emulsified Caesar salad dressing at eight years old with my grandfather. And it was an ordeal, and it was something that, that I look forward to uh, doing with him every time we made it. My favorite thing on the menu uh, is uh, the lamb ragu. We put it on for the fall menu, we'll carry it over into the winter menu. Um, we, we hand make all of our pasta, so it's a handmade pappardelle pasta, uh, and then we take lamb shoulder, we cube it, and then we, uh, we dust in flour and we, we, we you know, brown it off, uh, and then we you know, layer in you know, wine and stock and tomatoes and tomato sauce. And it, the, the whole process for us to make it takes about six hours, uh, and the end result is just, um, it's just this real hearty, packed full of flavor uh, pasta dish that um, is extremely popular. My approach uh, to the menu here at the Napa Valley Grill is very simple. Less is more. The style of Napa cuisine, which is really what we're all about here at the Napa Valley Grill, is a very rustic approach to food. So we don't overcompose plates, we don't over sauce, we don't over garnish. It's, it's a very straightforward and I think more pure approach to food uh, than you may get in other restaurants. Here at the Napa Valley Grill, we really try hard to maintain our connection to Napa Valley. So what that means for us is that we work with uh, local producers of produce. Uh, for instance, we have a community supported agriculture program or a CSA program that we offer to anybody who wants to participate. And we partnered with a local organic farm that puts together the boxes for us and we act as a point of pickup. So they can come and pick up their CSA box and it's whatever's fresh that week, it's what's in season, it's the same ingredients in the box that you get to take home with you that we use to create dishes here at the restaurant. And we don't make any money off of it. It's, it's just we believe that giving back to the community uh, is going to be better for everybody. And, and so that's one of the ways that we try to do that. Another way that we really try to, to maintain our roots in Napa Valley is that we only offer California wines on our wine list. 
We are very Napa centric when it comes to our wines, but uh, we recognize that there are other varietals and other regions in California uh, that offer great things as well. So there's things from Santa Barbara, there's things from Santa Cruz Mountains, and you, what you get from that is a real California Napa experience. One of the great things about being a wine-centric restaurant and having such a close tie to Napa Valley is the opportunity to work with such great winemakers and put together monthly wine dinners where we're showcasing the best of what Napa is about and the best of what Napa Valley Grill is about.